Dixie Kiefer was the commanding officer of USS Ticonderoga. He was popular with his sailors and was credited with training the carrier's air group and crew into an efficient wartime team. On the 21st of January, 1945, Ticonderoga was hit by two Japanese kamikaze bombers. The explosion from the second hit injured Kiefer, with 65 wounds from bomb shrapnel and a broken arm. Nonetheless, he remained in command on the bridge for 11 hours, not leaving until it was reported that all of the other injured were treated. Kiefer was said to be the most battered officer in the Navy. He broke his left ankle and split his kneecap playing football as a youth. His left elbow was smashed when a fellow pilot buzzed him in a seaplane and hit his arm with a wingtip float. The crew of Ticonderoga said of him, he's got so much metal in him, the ship's compass follows him when he walks across the deck. Sadly, he died on November 11, 1945, when his Navy transport plane crashed into Mount Beacon.